Okay, now. That was a waste of time. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Okay. So now I get to try to figure out. I mean, do they just go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven order? No. So that's cool. Ah, okay. This has 17 in the middle. I wonder if we're supposed to have something where like each line adds up to one or to nine. So like seven, two, but that doesn't, that won't work, right? Huh. We're like getting into the part of the game where it's like, you know, have fun trying to figure this out. <sighs> I mean, if anyone has any ideas of what this even could conceivably... <laughs> Because it's not like I can... I need each of the three rows to total 17 in all directions using the numbers found on the baseball cards. Oh! Okay. Thank you. I need all rows totaling 17 in each direction. So like five... This would be 14... 15... 17. This would be like 10. Oh, I've, oh, I've already messed up here. <laughs> uh, so like... All right. I'm assuming the 9 is probably going to be its own row. The 8 is probably going to be in its own row. The 7 is probably going to be in its own row. Um. This is 13. So we could have like 3 and 1. Is that 17, 9, 16, 17? This is 10, so we need 7 here. So we could have like 2 and a... F no, 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 no. So we could have like 2 and a 5 in some order. So we have a 4 here. This would be 12, 13, 14, 15. No. Ha 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 I was hoping to get, like, a security card to the lady's office, but, uh... The drawer inside this safe needs two additional cards. Whatever's in here must be so important that Mason Bowers keeps both the cards with him at all times. Okay.
So we can go directly to the secret room. So what are what are we trying to figure out here? Apparently, oh my God, how to find more information about Margaret Leonard? How to investigate the crime? How to find? Out, well, we already did. So all of these are ones that we figured out. So the only one here is how to find more information about Margaret Leonard, which I, mean, I don't really want to go to that screen yet if I can help it, but. She's somewhere on the second floor. Actually, I think... I think she might even be in this room. Problem is, I don't know what I might be able to do with that. This is still closed. Closed. Yeah, this building's been a lemon for anyone who's tried to open a business here. We can go asking around, I guess. Holograms are people too, lady. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Not well. I can't ask her anything new. That sucks. Bye. When visiting Salt Lake, be sure to visit... Time to be Snoopy. Are you hiding anything? The Golden Gate Hotel? Nicest place on Chandler. Know why they would have anything new, but you never know. Acid. I used to love the game of Twisty until I realized its true sinister purpose. Whoa, better tell Yogi to be on the lookout for these in Jellystone. Did someone leave these on? Because they look like they're on. Ow! My God, you know what that is? It's the cup of the carpenter. It's from the Holy Land Toys Collection by Robco. Batteries not included, a $10 value. Robco. Nice Fallout reference there. Gross. No one's ever removed this thing since the incident. What incident? Yep, that's not diet. You uh, believe you have a new San Francisco Convention Center. Can we climb any faster? Maybe slightly. <laughs> the dog is still out. Thank you, Deux Machina. Can we jump off? No, we can't. I'm just looking to see if we've missed anything anywhere at this point. Can we go out this back door? No. You know, Murph, I think we make a great team. What can I do for you? <laughs> Don't know about that. I don't know why I'm still asking you about the freeze gun. Well, that's the most recent photo of Margaret Leonard I could find. Like I said, she's been out of circulation for a while. That's not useful. A 
as I've made it perfectly clear, your status as a paying customer earns you a modicum of goodwill. I suggest you use it judiciously. Sorry, you lost me at modicum. Look, answer a few questions for me and I won't kick your butt when I get my memory back. In fact, I have no questions for you. This is, this is going well. Not again. You're going to get me fired. Or worse. All right. I've asked you everything I can ask you. It's going well. Of all the face-melting food joints in all the towns, in all the world, you walk into mine. I hope you don't mind, Mife. I've been telling folks in the neighborhood about your situation, just so they know it's the old tax they're dealing with. Let me know what else I can do for you. Nothing. I no, no, stop it. No, out. I think everybody no, not repeat. Back to your old self. <laughs> huh. Could there be a card like in here? I think the only card I saw in here was to get into the other place. Problem with vid phones is you can't call anyone from the bathroom anymore. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> Motel postcards. Maldonado must make his living spying on cheating spouses. Emily? Oh man. I hope she's doing this to get through school. I'm sure. I think that's a reference to an older game. So this is like the sixth game in the Tex Murphy series. It's the fourth one of this format where it's like a, a basically a video game or like a game with like video of real people on CG background. Um, so I think some of the where we sometimes see like videos pop up, I think a lot of times they're from past games. Pretty sure I've looked in there. I don't know if I've scoured. I mean, I know I've been in here, but I don't know. Yeah, or 15, 16, something like that. Nice cowboy hat. We've already done this. We've already been hit in the head with a golf ball. I am kind of not sure where to look at this point. Do it again. <laughs> Travel to three cards to midnight. Shop to talk with Archie and receive photo. I did that. Talk with Clint. I did that. Talk with Rook and receive Tesla book. I did that. Okay, examine Tesla book, apparently. Solve puzzle. Supposedly. <laughs> That's an old magic square grid code. Row and column totals are the key. Okay. So what is everything supposed to total 15? If so, this is... 10, so this would be 5, right? Um, this is 9, so this would be 6. 12, 13, 14, 15. 
10, 15, yes. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, so eight, nine. So this would be 14, so presumably one. 13, yeah. Ah. Margaret Leonard Key. So what you're saying is I need to pay more attention to things in my inventory. an open window like this in their bathroom. Why is there something terribly wrong? <laughs> Day four. Saints and Sinners, or The Unusual Suspects. So that's apparently someone. Well, I think I found Margaret Leonard. Well, most of her. But do we really know that's her? She doesn't have a head. Although this is her apartment, so I guess that's, you know, a reasonable assumption to make. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Oh, I missed this on the way in. That chair looks comfortable. Too comfortable. Was she blind when she picked these out? I don't know, maybe. There's something over there I can pick up. Oh, this is something, okay. There are 12 positions for each of the flowers on the box. I wonder if there's something around here that could help me out. Okay. It's a business card for someone named Count St. Germain. Looks like Margaret Leonard had a video journal. I'll need to find a memory stick to use on the vid player to watch them. That's probably what's in here. Or, this? or maybe that's that. Memory stick. The dream that Charles and I shared has become a nightmare. I wanted to believe, so it was easy to deceive myself and to know that I have helped to bring it to pass is more than I can bear. I gave them everything, except for the key to it all. I must find the egg before they do. I have long suspected that Tex is a vital piece to the puzzle. His connection to Donnelly preceded the neural experiments. His coming to Chandler Avenue, a, a norm among mutants, to the rip, and even into Donnelly's same apartment. That was not coincidence. Was it fate, fate, or something else that drew Tex here? It was right here all the time. Under our noses, Tex has found the Tesla egg. Mason believes Tex is with us and will help us against the translator. But I have my suspicions. 
I think we need to get the egg away from from from. I wish I had the courage to destroy the egg. I, I just can't let go of hope. Poop, poop. With the egg gone, the threat would likely be eliminated, but so would the glorious future we envisioned. I want to try one more time, and until I know one way or the other, I'm entrusting the egg to the only person I know who would die to defend it. The one who prays. Okay. I was working with Margaret Leonard and Mason Bowers in neural experiments? What's my connection with J.T. Donnelly and the egg found in my wall? Why would she steal it from me and entrust it to someone else? The one who prays. Okay. So we still have this. Oh, okay. This is going to be the clue. Probably. So we have basically a rose, a yellow flower, white flower, and a blue flower. So we have to see what months these are. So the rose is June. So that's what? The sixth position? I hope this kind of stays. So this is, I guess, one. I don't know if up is one or... I'm going to assume these are like, like clocks. So, like, that's the sixth position. Uh, shit. <laughs> I think this is January. So, it's actually already right. That's April. Well, one would actually be this if it's a clock, right? So, one, two, three, four... And then we have this blue flower, which I think is September, so nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ha ha! It's a picture of someone named Mantis. All right. It's a picture of someone named Mantis. It's a business card for someone named Count St. Germain. Looks like Bowers was interested in some Nikola Tesla artifacts from Rook's pawn shop. So that looks like something that we will need to go ask Rook about. I wonder if anyone else on Chandler Avenue has seen Margaret Leonard. So I guess... Yeah, that'll work. I just want to... Dummy. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, shut up. All right, so I guess it's time to talk to Rook again. Or have a cutscene. Well, hello, boys. Mr. Murphy. You need to come with us if you want to live. Seriously? Just kidding. What was going on in there? <sighs> you know the drill. Oh, we're going back to talk. Why do so many people around you end up dead? <laughs> Fly insult, inevitable, quick defense. Well, it's not because I killed them. That's what you're implying. The place is usually here. Did you kill Margaret Leonard? <laughs> PI 303. <laughs> Come on, Danwich. If I killed her, what'd I do with her head? Eat it? So we keep walking in on you with all these dead bodies. You must be the unluckiest guy in the world. Whoever off Margaret Leonard either hated her guts or was completely bonkers. I mean, why would someone decapitate her? I don't care why. I just want to know who. Wait a second. How do we even know it's Margaret Leonard? I mean, maybe that's why they took the head. Yeah, that might have worked a hundred years ago, but now we've got apps for that. We've already got a positive ID. 
It's kind of fun, isn't it? I mean, kind of working together, uh, bouncing ideas, sharing information. I mean, what if I said I had some information that might help your investigation? I'd say you were withholding evidence. No, I said I might have something. No, you said you had something that might help. Yeah, oops. Look, Dan, which you seem like a stand-up guy, and I know you don't want any vigilantism, so I'll play it by the book. I think I have video that might have been shot by the guy who killed Margaret Leonard. I'm just gonna hand it to you, and hope you'll cut me some slack. It's on your smart, Alex. Let's have it. The guy in the video is Mason Bowers. And this is the guy you think was abducted. The problem is there's no evidence of anyone being abducted, so I can't investigate. My hands are tied. Well, mine, as you see, are not. I may have seen this guy before on some kind of surveillance video. A surveillance video, you say? The video could have shown you in your apartment talking to an elderly lady. Well, that's smart. There may me. have been another man there as well, a mutant of some kind, who might have jumped you. The elderly lady, in theory, could have appeared to have injected you when you were restrained. In the ensuing struggle, you might have been knocked out on the fire escape. And when would Bowers have shown? Hypothetically. Right after you were knocked out, tore through the apartment in pursuit of the old lady. So everything that I've told you matches up, and we're both looking for Mason Bowers. Are you familiar with a program called VCT, <laughs> Vehicle Compliance Tracking? All cars come with sensors that report when one is out of compliance. For example, when you have your right front headlight shot out, if you could access the VCT database, which is illegal and highly inadvisable, you would find a list of all vehicles with the right front headlight shot out. If you could provide more information on the vehicle, you can access an ID and an address from the registration. Any chance this might have been the vehicle seen in the Maldonado surveillance video? I gotta get back to work, Murphy. If you got questions, ask them. And then stop wasting my time with this speculative nonsense. So, so he's, he's kind of, I mean, <laughs> he's clearly trying to help us, I think. Surve suspicious speeder. A speeder with a broken headlight on the front passenger side? No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. That's Margaret Leonard. I'll have to take your word for it. So it sounds like Margaret is the one. So there was a mutant and Margaret who was in our apartment. It sounds like Margaret stabbed us, which I think is what caused our memory to get wiped. And then Mason was in there later chasing her. It sounds like. I wonder if that mutant was the mutant that we saw from her room. Hmm. Don't recognize the face. Photo of woman. Sorry. That's very descriptive, Zach Williams. I know who Zach Williams is and who his associates are. I'd advise you to keep your distance. 